Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Truth Be Told. How you all doing today? Father God, I want to thank you for this opportunity to give me a day that you woke me up today. Father God, that you filled my lungs with the air, Lord. That you thank you that you provide the air so that I can breathe, so that I can speak your truth today. Father God, I pray that everyone listening to this message today is blessed beyond measure, that your favor goes before them, behind them, and beside them, that they have a relationship with you, Father God, that they that you put in their hearts a fire to, to, to seek after you, Lord, and that the windows of heaven may be opened and that you pour out your favor over us today in this season to remember that this is a season of giving, of loving, because you gave your life for us, Father God. I pray that we pick up our cross and follow you today, Father God, and that we give in the true measure of what you represent love is, Lord, today I pray this in the glorious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Man, I want to talk to you about, about God's favor. Man, God's favor is amazing. You know that sometimes, I not some, so many times, we block our blessings. Uh, when we're not positioned, when we don't believe in our hearts uh, that God can do something for us, then it blocks our blessings. I want you to know that I live my life expecting God to perform his word in my life. And if you don't know his word, how do you expect him to perform it? See, God tells me he's my provider, so I don't worry about stuff because I know he's going to provide everything I need. It may not be what I want, but he'll give me what I need. He, I'm his daughter. He loves me. If he sent his son to die for me, what won't he do for me? You see, we need to understand. We need to get into a relationship. We need to get to know the promises of God in my life because that's what I act upon. I act upon the fact that I know God's going to perform his word in my life and I get excited every day. I believe in, in Proverbs 8.35, it says, For whoever finds me, wisdom, finds life and draws forth and obtains favor from the Lord. Hallelujah. Develop your faith in the area of God's favor. Live expecting it all the time. Pray for favor. See, I pray for God to perform his word in my life. Now, when I do that, I know what his word says. His, uh, God's plans for my life, Jeremiah 29, 11, are for me to have a good life, for me to prosper. God's ability, God is able, and God is willing. He, his will for my life is for me to prosper, to live a good and healthy life, a long life. Hmm. See, I believe that. So when something comes against me that looks like it's trying to take away my life or steal my joy, man, I quickly uh, rebuke it. I quickly don't accept it. And I align myself with what God says because what God says is true. Everything else is a lie. Uh, I know that seems a little out there for you all that don't know the word of God. But if we're a spirit being having a human experience, then we're supposed to think in the spirit. We're supposed to walk by faith. What does that look like? It means that we need to believe and trust in what God says, not what our circumstances are saying. So is it hard? Absolutely. But once you get the hang of this, you're going to start to live in the spirit and walk by faith. And then you're going to start to honor God. And then the windows of heaven are going to open, honey. And the favor of God is going to flood your life. I don't know about y'all, but I hope you get soaking wet with the favor of God today. This is a season to reflect on God's goodness, on the gift the ultimate gift of sacrifice that he gave for us. So let's start thinking about our lives and what we're willing to give or lay down so that we can receive the ultimate gift, which is God's love, God's mercy, God's grace, God's power, God's joy, his perfect peace that he leaves to us. But none of us know how to access it because we're so busy trying to live our own lives and not making room for God. I pray you make room for God because he sure made room for you on the cross, honey. When he died, you died with him, honey. And when he rose, you rose with him. So let's start to walk in that sacrifice. Let's start to walk in that truth and that love today. And let's make this year the best year of our lives. Thank you for joining me. I love you guys. Have an amazing, amazing holiday. And uh, I am on Blessed Boulevard and Amazing Avenue. Where are you at? Holla.